Okay, so let's move on to LXDE. So the first part is the actual desktop environment, and then again we've got a few LXDE programs to install. So it looks like these are all going to be on SourceForge, which is a bit of a pain. I've got to wait for each one to download. Okay, so LX menu data. Straightforward build. And install. That's done. So Cross that off and move on. So again in Source Forge, I think I'll get some of these downloading. So libfm extra Okay, so it's just copy and paste on this one. We can install. That's done. Cross that one off. Now menu cache. Got a patch to download as well. Uh, just menu cache was it? So a patch. Configure and make. And sudo make install. And that's done. So I'll cross that off and move on to libfm. Um, right. Okay, so libfm, libfm extra looks like they've got the same uh, tarball. Um, it doesn't mention that anywhere, but it looks and looks like the same. This has already got the link. Um, has changed colour. So we can select it to use the later version of GTK. And build it. Run some tests and install it. 
it's done. So mark that off and we move on to PC Man FM. So again, it's a source forge. I'll get a couple of these. Oh that one's not at source forge, that's okay. Don't know this one while I'm here anyway. So PC Man FM. Configure and make and make install. Okay, that probably means we might need to do an LD config if we can't find the library. So I'll try that again. Right, in that case, it means that the libfm we installed previously is actually looking for GTK3. So I wonder if configure has got an option to set GTK3 as well yeah with GTK equals verse so that means I'll have to set it here uh, there it is there it defaults to 2 because I've set 3 it can't find a lib um, FM built with 2 so I need to put a 3 in there Let's try that again. Now it's working. And that's it. So I'll cross that off and move on to libwnck. And this is version 2.30, uh, an older version by the looks of it. Okay, we just copy and paste this. install the package and it's done cross that one off and next we move on to LX panel so again we've got a packet oh we've got a dependency here so let's install this first Binder. So we're installing 0.3.1 and just again copy and paste. Okay, that's built and installed, so keybinder, mark that off chapter 25 and tidy up. Shut that down, back to LX panel. Got another one in SourceForge here. Let's download another one while that's going. that one and here comes the other one okay so 
back to LX panel. And again, configure make and make, sorry, sudo. Okay, once again, we need to set the GTK version by the looks of it. So, uh, was it GTK ver equals three? Was that what it was? No. So, let's do configure help or oh, enable GTK this time it's called enable GTK 
Okay, this one is a direct download, so I'll just save this link. And I think the last one we've got here, yeah, is actually in SourceForge as well. Get rid of these other tabs. Okay, so this should now be all ready to build, apart from any possible dependencies, but we've got all the packages. So let's start with GPIC view. Configure and make. And sudo su and install the package. If we've got XTG utilities installed, which we have, you should run XTG icon resource force update i see my color for the installed icon to be displayed in the menu item. So let's run that. That's okay. And tidy up. So let's run this. What is this package? A lightweight image viewer. GPIC view. Okay, not sure how this one works. Open a directory. Okay, we can look at that for example. Yep, that seems to be working alright. Yep, that seems to work fine. So that's GPIC view. Now we move on to Alex Appearance Obconf. Again, a simple build. done. So there's no programs, that's purely a library. Shut that down and we've got Alex input now. And again, this is a simple build. Just remove this disable static. It's not needed on this installation. That's done. So cross that off and we've got a program called LX input. What does this do? Used to configure the mouse and keyboard for LXDE, so yeah, looks pretty usual. I won't make any changes there in case I affect something else. So now LX R and R, so monitor configuration tool. And once again, it's same build and configuration. Oh, we can actually build the manual pages. So that's done. And once again, we can run that. And you can see there's some information there about reconfiguring the monitor. So again, I'm not going to change anything. I don't want to mess this thing up, especially while I'm not in um, LXDE. So move on to LX task. It's a task manager. And 
again we can do a simple configure make make install so it's done I'll tidy up test it there's the window and you can see the process is running so that looks fine So let's cross that one off and move on to VTE. So this is version 0 0.28, so there's obviously more than one version there. And we just copy and paste this again. and so do make install and that's all complete uh, 0 2 8 2 and it says there we've got a program called VTE so virtual terminal emulator I guess it stands for and you can see we've got a prompt up so that looks okay Last application for LXDE or specific LXDE application is LX Terminal. And once again, it's a nice simple build. And once again, we can actually put in, I just noticed, enable man. And that's done. So I cross that off. So it's everything for LXDE installed. So what I'm going to do now is to close this tab and shut down Falcon. Log out the terminal here. Go back to my graphical login which will allow me to select LXDE as the desktop environment log in and there it is uh, seems for some reason this taskbar is not extended all the way that might be deliberate I don't know um, we've got what's this here is this file manager yep and strangely the uh, taskbar has actually disappeared so maybe a bug with the um, possibly the panel I imagine that would be and indeed it could be related to all the problems I've had um, with these gnome type environments so I'm not quite sure how I can log out of this. That's the preferences. Let's try this. Yeah, that's better. So I can log out from here. Oh, that actually said open box. Oh, I see that's the open box is enabled. Right, 
now I'm not getting anything. Yeah, it looks like something's a little bit wrong here. Let's see if I can get a terminal here. It doesn't look like there's any options for that. Right, what I might do here is to do a full reboot. Um, see if it helps sort things out, but it does look like that might be a little bit broken. Um, could try rebuilding LX panel. See if that has any effect. Okay, so there's the chime. Got the menu. And it should be booting now. Okay, so I'm going to log in again and attempt to rebuild this. So, um, yeah, I assume it's the LX panel. So I'm going to get the terminal up. Right, that must be the known one, it's not working. I'll just get the next term up, I think. Yeah, the control panel's gone again. But at least from here I can spawn Falcon. Um, any trouble is it might spew out messages. So I'm going to load up another X term and I'll run out of this one. Right, unfortunately, the, I can't change the font from here. So I have to make do actually let's do Alex term. I'll be able to set the size on this one. Right, that's reasonably big. Um, I don't know if I can do NX panel as a command. I can. Yeah, it's aborted for some reason. So maybe because it is actually running in the background or because I've run it manually, but uh, I'll try and. Yeah, desktop panel. I'll try and reinstall this. even be the GTK3 that I've selected. Yeah, I might go back and reinstall this one first. Just as GTK2 
wasn't this one, was it? Lib FM, it was this one. I'll just copy and paste what we've got here. Check. This seems to be okay. I can stall. That's fine. So I'll rebuild this one as well as it directly relies on libfm. This one doesn't rely on that, but I will install this one, although again it doesn't rely on it, I think this is the one that's breaking. Actually I will install that libwnk because it is part of the toolkit. And I'll install it. That's done. And move on to LX panel. Install it again. So that's done. Um, I'm not sure if anything else needed to be rebuilt now. Uh, let's just check. Yeah, this one has got the enabled GTK3, so I'll rebuild this. And check 
an accession as well. Right, that's got enabled GTK3, so I better install this as well. I uh, can't remember which of these. Alright, it says they live unique. Requires GTK2. Assume that's the way that's supposed to be read. So it could be this one that was the problem. Uh, make install. It could even be the fact that a lot more of these had a configure, but some just happened to work without the enabled GTK3, but they did actually need it to be specified, so that could be what the problem is. Um, let's just take a look at this one as well. This will be the last package for the actual environment itself. Right, no, this one hasn't got that option, so I won't bother rebuilding that. Now, the only thing is I can't come out of here easily. Um, I could try doing init 3. This might break everything. Right, it's logged me out of there by the looks of it. Um, so I'll have to load, go back in as kernel text. And rerun in it five. Got LXD still set, so let's log back in. And yes, that has fixed it. So there's obviously an incompatibility there either. I didn't specify GTK3 enough times in enough packages, and the ones that didn't complain were the ones that should have had that enabled, or um, the GTK3 is not really reliable. So yes, it's not disappearing now, so it's it's working correctly. Right, so that's open box is sitting on top of that and it's now not working. So I'll do an init three again. Back to init five. So this obviously needs open box to work correctly, but um, the rest of it anyway is working. Let's see, that's working fine. Uh, let's try graphics. Let's try GIMP. Yeah, it's working fine now. It's not disappearing. And if I log out. It's gone back to the screen. I can log in again. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all now. So I'm going to log out and go back to init 3. And run star text to build the rest. And the rest is purely going to consist of building KDE. 